Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pani Madhuri. I am a consultant in reproductive medicine and endoscopic surgery at Matutva Fertility Center, Kormangla, Bangalore. Now this is a very common question asked to a lot of clinicians as to how do we prevent polycystic ovaries. A lot of anxious mothers come with these questions, a lot of young girls have this question. It's very important to prevent any condition rather than treat. But this is one condition where prevention cannot be assured if there is a strong clinical or a genetic predisposition to PCO. But definitely the condition can be controlled by doing a very uh, minimalistic things by yourself. For example, we advise aerobic exercises on a routine basis for these women, which should be on an average to about 150 minutes every week and about 90 minutes of very high-end aerobic exercises like cardio exercises along with other moderate exercises combined to about 150 minutes a week. That is roughly about 30 minutes exercise for at least 5 to 6 days a week should be good enough for these people. And try to avoid all high calorie foods and processed foods and direct sugars. This is the mantra for polycystic ovaries wherein if you try to keep your diet under control and a check and do a regular exercise, most of these hormonal imbalances in these women does come under control. At the same time, if you try to lose weight from whatever existent weight, a 5% weight loss normally in people who are obese, usually most of the polycystic ovarian patients have a tendency to put on weight and or on the higher BMI, if they lose about 5% of their baseline weight, most of these hormonal conditions come under control. At the same time, the menses can become regular as well as the sugar levels and the cholesterol levels can also be kept under control by just minimalistic weight loss and uh, following a good healthy diet pattern.